Blessed be the most holy trinity, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hear this, O Israel. Our God is sovereign and singular. We shall love our God with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Our God alone shall we serve. Hear this, O Israel. We shall love our neighbors as ourselves. On these two great commandments hang all the law and the prophets too. Let us pray. Most high and glorious God, we give you thanks for the wonders of the universe. We ask you to grant us wisdom, to seek the paths of peace, to make this beautiful world a better place for all of our children. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rules with you in the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. For our God is a lover of humanity. Our God is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We ask you that you make us aware of your presence in the poor, in the oppressed, and in all things. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us lift up our voices and praise our God, eternal shepherd. Adisha Allah Adisha Kaila Tanda Kadisha Lama Yuta Ephrahekemale To the living God, the holy and blessed three in one, be honor and glory now and for all time, beyond time, into the fullness of eternity. Aihos hotebos, aihos iskiros, aihos apanatos, eleis Give praise to the Holy One, the source of all being, to the eternal Word, Jesus, and to the Holy Spirit, who breathes life into all creation now and forever unto ages of ages. Sanctus Deus, Sanctus Fortis, Sanctus Immortalis, Miserere Nobis, Holy God. Holy and mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Wisdom is with us. Spirit of wisdom, break open the soil of our hearts, that we may be open to your holy word. Let us prepare our hearts in silence. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established higher than the mountains. It shall rise high above the hills, and people shall stream to it. Many nations shall come and say, Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, that we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples, and impose terms on strong and distant nations. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. 
One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. Every man and woman shall sit under their own vine or under their own fig tree, undisturbed. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. This is the word of the Lord. reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called the children of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Live on in my love. You will live in my love if you keep my commandments, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and live in his love. All this I tell you, that my joy may be yours, and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. We remember this weekend that 75 years ago, Nagasaki was destroyed by an atomic weapon one of two that have been used in war by human beings. And we go back and we read readings where God promises us the end of war. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, their spears into pruning hooks. I shall banish the horse and the chariot. I shall banish the bow. These were all things spoken of that were the latest military hardware of their day. Swords were the thing that you would have if you were wealthy enough to have one. Spears if you were not wealthy enough to have a sword. If you were really wealthy, you had chariots pulled by horses. Horses which were fast. Horses which could carry you into battle and trample your enemies. Chariots, which were stable platforms where one person could drive and another could use a bow to kill from a distance. She'll banish the bow. Swords will be made useful as plowshares to grow food. Spears will be made useful as pruning hooks to clip the trees to make them grow better. I have a lot more use for pruning hooks and for plowshares than I do for weapons of war. While I love horses, they were a symbol in that day of military power. Jesus did not come riding a horse, carrying a sword, driving the Romans out of Jerusalem. He arrived on a colt, on a foal, on a 
baby donkey. No one is impressive riding on the back of a baby donkey. But it's transportation that will get you there safely, reliably, without threatening anyone else. We see human beings throughout history, not just recently, but we certainly see it recently, threatening one another, making somebody do something by force of arms. Jesus turns that all on its head. Instead of by force of arms, instead of being the great Messiah coming on the horseback to drive the Romans out, he says, Love. Love me as the Father has loved me as I have loved you. And this is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. That kind of love could cure all the ills of the world. If we look at other people and we care about them the way that Jesus did, if we look at other people and we see Christ in them, how can we not help? It can be overwhelming. There is so much in the world right now. The terrible, terrible explosion in Lebanon this week slightly larger than the explosion which devastated Texas City all those years ago. Slightly smaller than the explosion which erased Halifax. All of those people without homes, without hope, can be overwhelming to us. But it doesn't have to be. Do what you can where you're at. Drop a $25 donation towards one of the many organizations trying to help the people out there. Put that extra bag of food into the uh, barrel or the food pantry. Smile at someone. Make your day better. We are all suffering during this COVID-19 quarantine with our lack of human contact. I know I notice it. I miss hugging my friends. I miss holding family members in my arms. So smile at someone. Wait. They can't see your smile through your mask? That's okay. Send them one of the many, many signs for love that there are. I love you in one version of sign. Love you in another version of silence. I'll hold you in my heart in another version of silence. I salute God who dwells within you. There are lots of ways that without touching we can still show that we care. That love that Jesus has to us is a radical idea. It's so different than our world is. But please, God, may it be so. Let us reaffirm our faith in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, who descended to the dead on the third day, rising again, who ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. O 
O God, holy and mighty, who accepts the sacrifice of praise from your people, accept the prayers we now offer to you. Help us to offer these gifts, which we have been given for our sake and for all of creation. Grant us the grace to be a living sacrifice acceptable to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our divinity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right, good and joyful, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, gracious God. In your immense love you have made a covenant with us, bringing all creation to life. Again and again you have sealed that covenant in Abraham and Sarah and their offspring. When the time was right, you gave your son Jesus Christ. He walked among us as a sign of your blessedness and faithfulness. And finally he embraced the world's suffering and death's darkness in obedience to your covenant. Because of this you raised him up, giving us a new and blessed life. Therefore we join with the angels and all the saints in proclaiming your blessedness and ours as well. We forever proclaim to the glory of your holy name. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are we who come in the name of our God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Glorious God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, your Son teaches us to seek your holiness. Speaking heart to heart, he assures us that we are blessed when poor in spirit. For to the poor belong the realm of heaven. Blessed are the poor, and blessed are we who are poor in spirit. Jesus comforts us in our mourning. He blesses us when we are weak and promises that the earth will be our inheritance. When we hunger and thirst for what is right, we will be filled with the utter fullness of God. 
in being merciful, we will find the blessings of mercy given to us. Blessed are the merciful, and blessed are we who show mercy. It is the Holy Spirit's blessing for us to see the very face of God in our becoming pure of heart. We are truly your children, gracious God, when we bless our world with peace. When lies, slander, and persecution come to us, because we belong to your Son, you promise us reward. So with joy we take our place with the prophets of old. Blessed God, in your beloved Son we seek to be a blessing, doing what he asks of us. So we remember that Jesus took bread and wine. He gave thanks to you, saying to his disciples, Take and eat this bread. Take and drink this cup. This is my body broken for you. This is my blood poured out for you. When you eat and drink here, I live in you and you in me. And sin has lost its sway. Blessed are we who eat and drink this bread and this cup. We know what Jesus has done for us in his death. We live on the faith of his resurrection and his return to you. We stand ready in hope to greet him when he comes again in glory. On that last day, may we be glorified with all your blessing with us, God of our ancestors. It is with all your churches that we offer this thanksgiving prayer of praise. We ask those who are leaders in the church, our holy synod of bishops, myself, your unworthy servant, that they serve us, that we may be ready signs of your comfort, mercy, and peace. May we labor long and lovingly to be a blessing to all, spending ourselves for your sake. For we proclaim your death in us, Lord Jesus, until you come. Loving God, may your Holy Spirit bless us and our gifts to be the very body and blood of him who will return. Holy Spirit, you mold us, shape us, and fashion us into Christ, the head of the body whose members we are. Make us bold to bless those who mourn, who seek what is good and holy. Make us worthy members of your mercy and peace, so that Christ may be all in all. Blessed be God. For through Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty God, forever and ever. Amen. It is the Holy Spirit who prompts us to pray in the words our Lord gave. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The bread we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? The cup we drink, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? We who eat this bread and drink this cup shall have life everlasting. God shall raise us up on the last day. Here are God's gifts for God's people. Remember that Christ has died for you. Feed on him faithfully. Partake of this heavenly food and drink with hearts full of thanks and praise. Amen. We have feasted on God's word and his holy banquet.
make bold, let us make known our prayers and petitions. We pray for peace, Lord, the peace that comes from justice. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for wisdom, Lord, to seek the proper paths. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, Lord, for those who minister to them, and for those who love them. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those approaching the new school year, whether online or in person, whether teachers, administrators, students, parents. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who have gone before us to march for the sign of faith. Lord, hear our prayer. All these prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives now and forever in the ages of ages. May this worship bear fruit in our lives. May God be praised in our words and deeds. May we walk with God and be blessed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Let us share peace with one another, and then go forth to serve God in friend and foe, in neighbor and stranger. Peace be with you.